Hi, Tom here and welcome to my new Circle Line Art School drawing challenge. Recently I was invited by YouTube Space London to draw from the set of the new Blade Runner 2049 film. The film set looked great and I thought I'd make a video about how to draw perspective from a photograph, how to find the perspective in a photograph. So this is the view that I chose, but I want the bar counter to be on the left hand side, so I'll just reverse the image. Now, although the colours are very interesting, I want to actually draw this using tone. So now we have our photograph, the first thing to do is to work out where the vanishing point is. The vanishing point is where parallel lines will visually look as if they're meeting together at a single point. The point where these two lines meet will be the vanishing point for this drawing. And all of the parallel lines in this photograph will meet at this one vanishing point. If we imagine a horizontal line going through this point, this will be the horizon line, which is the height of the eye of the viewer, in this case the height of the camera, when I took the photograph. So there is one vanishing point in this photograph because we're looking straight ahead. We're not looking sideways up or down, we're just looking straight ahead. And this vanishing point is always on the horizon line, and the horizon line is the height of the eye, of the person looking at the scene. In this image, the horizon line is in the middle. So the first step to draw this is to draw a horizontal line in the middle of our page. Next, draw a mark for the vanishing point in the center of the horizon line. Now draw a diagonal from the top left and the bottom left of your page towards the vanishing point. We can add another diagonal for the base of the bar and one more for the very top of the bar. Now, if we draw another diagonal line here, we can add two vertical lines to make this into the display panel of the bar. Make sure that the vertical lines that you draw are parallel to the edge of your paper. Now we can add the front of the panel as just some horizontal lines and a horizontal line here for the back part of the panel. Now draw a diagonal line for the top of the back wall of the bar and we can give the overhang a thickness here too. Draw two more vertical lines for the back and front of the wall of the bar. Now we can draw a vertical line in the foreground for the corner of the bar. Again we can give the line a thickness at the moment it is making a corner, so we can add a curve to this corner line to make it into a curved line. I think it's best to find the corner first in one point perspective and then create a curved line that fits into the corner that you've drawn. Next we can add a depth to the bar, just following the curve around. Now we can draw a line to show where the bar stops. I think I'll add a line to extend the height of the bar. Again, all these diagonal lines go to our one vanishing point. We can make a curve at the top here too. Next, we can erase some of the lines that we no longer need so that we can see what we already have. Now, I want to draw the eye scanner from the original Blade Runner film. To do that, we can just draw a rectangle behind the counter. We could add some tapered lines to make it look like an old computer monitor, and maybe a few buttons on the right hand side at the lower point. To make this computer monitor look more 3D, we can just extend the edges of the shape on the right hand side towards our vanishing point. And then if we add a back line to these diagonal lines going towards the vanishing point, that will show the side in 3D of the eye scanner. We can draw a simple box for it to sit on. 
Again, just a rectangle and the sides of the rectangle go to the vanishing point. At the back here, let's draw a diagonal line and then we can hang the saucepans and various cooking tools on them. They can go behind the eye scanner and that sort of overlapping will help the eye scanner see more in the foreground, which is what we want. We could add a few containers in the back as well. Now let's erase bits of this line. If we erase a bit of this line on the counter here, we could draw a bowl on the counter with an ellipse, just a circle squashed, sitting on the counter. Now I'll draw a thin edge to the counter, which will be the, like the highlight of the counter. And we can add some soft lines for reflections of some of the objects too. Now we can divide the display panel at the top into segments. Next, I'll speed up the drawing here for a little bit while I add some tone, some light and dark graded tone. I will grade the tone from light to dark as it goes around the curve in the foreground of the counter. We could add some bright high contrast tone to this bowl in the foreground and we could add another container and darken some of the bar and darken the frying pans too. If you have a 4B pencil or a dark pencil and just press down more firmly, you'll hopefully get a very dark tone in your drawing. Now we can draw the image of the eye in the eye scanner. Start with a circle for the pupil of the eye, a bigger circle for the iris, and then a smaller circle for the highlight. Shade the pupil in black. Darken the edges of the iris. And then draw some sharp lines from the circumference of the iris towards the pupil, like spokes of a wheel, going all the way round. Add a soft mid-tone to the iris, shading around the smaller circular highlight. And now just add a graded tone to the background of the screen of this eye monitor. We could darken the original rectangle of the eye scanner too to create a more to create more contrast in our drawing. We could add some posters and images to the display panel that we drew earlier on. Again, all of the diagonal lines will go towards our vanishing point. I will add some words too, but just indications, impressions, rather than anything specific or fixed. We could darken the top overhang of the bar too, just a graded tone getting lighter as it goes away from us. Now we have finished the left side of this drawing, let's add something to the right hand side. Going back to our photograph, there is a mannequin with a coat made for the film, made for the character of Officer K. If I repeat this figure, in the middle of the image and then I can take two lines from the vanishing point to the top and toe of this figure. Between these two diagonal lines I can put other people of the same height getting bigger in perspective and going away smaller in perspective. The horizon line in this image is lower than the head of the original figure because when I took the photograph, I was using a tripod that was a little bit lower down than the height of my eye. I'll just add a series of panels at the back here. And now we can draw two diagonal lines from the vanishing point. One for the feet of the figure and one for the head. I will mark where the feet should go, looking at the height of the bar and imagining how tall a person would need to be to stand next to the bar. Once we have placed the person, we can draw a simple head and sketch the body 
a long coat, trousers and boots. Let's add another Officer K here, between these two diagonal lines. If we draw a line from the vanishing point across the shoulders, they should line up, in this way we could draw a head nearby. The Officer K standing close to us will only see the top part of the body, too close to see the feet. Now we have three figures sketched in, we can add some darker lines to show the clothes and the high collar of the coat, the diagonal line of the coat at the front. Once we have got one figure drawn, we can copy it again for the next one, just to sketch. And we can draw the nearest figure in the same way. Now we could indicate the features of the face and add some hair and some tonal shading too, some light and dark. To finish this drawing, just add more tone, darken the panels at the back and give the floor a soft tone to indicate a shiny sort of reflective surface. From the vanishing point, we could draw a series of diagonal lines going up towards the ceiling. Now, we could just add some crossbars along here and then shade them in to create a series of lights in one point perspective. The final step in this drawing is to use an eraser to mark out some highlights on the shiny floor. I'll place the eye monitor on the eye level of the horizon on this one point perspective drawing. Thank you very much for watching this art challenge. Please visit my website for more information on Circle Line Art School, circlelineartschool.com and please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Circle Line Art School, to watch all of my videos. I post a new drawing challenge every Saturday. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.